not the axle. If it pulled on the axle, you wouldn't go anywhere. It pulls away from the axle, which is the idea of the centric. All right, here we go. Yes, because when you look at them, they are changing. Uh, <laughs> but now you see the uh, pedals go pop up. But it feels that we have to well That's the very basis of religion. Technological and cultural eccentricity, but we might as well be talking about bikes since it's my favorite subject. Um, nothing would go anywhere without an eccentric because when you think about how a bike moves, you're pushing on the axle, but you can't push right at the axle or you'd be pushing past the axle so that it spins the thing around and that's what this does. You can see that you pull from here rather than from the actual axle. So you pull uh, the eccentric. Uh, there cannot be contrast without it anyway. My lampshade hanging thing from mess it up uh, because people are so concerned about scratches and whatnot and so I've covered some of the things. Uh, I suggest that people's Oh, going along with the cultural stupidity of worrying about some scratch to the surface of something rather than caring about the actual integrity of the thing itself is uh, to sell out the human spirit and that we are all guilty of that. Uh, our only defense being that everybody else does it too, um, which is a half ass defense at best. Um, some eccentric things, see computers up there, stereos on the side, old vacuum tube thing, lights sort of hanging, dangling. This is a. Uh, Exhaled smoke collector. Keep my neighbors from being bothered. Oh, my weird stag one, Shireen Rajneesh. Here's an unusual chair. It has no bottom, but this puts it in such an upright position that you really get to sit straight. And, uh, yeah, what do we have here? Bertrand Russell. Oh, my favorite. Um, put it into my sleeve of my jacket tip it up like that and pour it down my sleeve and it runs down like that and starts to hit my pants and then I go like this and kind of ooze it into my clothing because otherwise when you try and pour water on yourself it'll mostly just fall on the ground. This is my bathroom. Uh, you will shriek in horror I'm sure. Uh, my pee in the sink, not in the toilet and that's the only way to go, especially for tall guys. Uh, you'll get a cascading shower of urine particles flying out of the toilet if you pee from standing up. And so... Uh, Rather than sit down all the time, you pee into this. There's the headrest for my head. Ah, it is only the finest. And I can triple, triple bill here, multitasking, filling the water, pouring out uh, pee or God knows what else. And uh, yeah, there's a stake holder, homemade. This keeps the water from wrecking the wall any more than it does. This hangs here, so it's always right there at the ready. The water comes on like this, right onto the thing. So you go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and then this sends the water to this, which will send the water to this. I'd be too health conscious living like this, but in fact I am very much so, and uh, take all health issues very seriously. So I must not think that that is a health risk, and uh, despite being eccentric and not even being the theme here, uh, no one would claim that I am irrational or non-technical. Tape over the light so it doesn't bother you. Homemade uh, shelf, kind of high tech. As you can see, no blocking of the uh, important area. Homemade uh, curtain hangs up in different parameters, blacked out here so I don't get reflection from the sun. Normally I keep a shroud up there to keep certain light out. Oh, stepping stones to go through the window to the other room. Um, Alright, nice little lighting trick there. That blah sends the cold air down, and I'll sit on a ladder right here sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This chair got a bad wheel, and uh, so this isn't as high as the rest of the whole thing is off kilter, but it actually makes it much better because then it tips you back just the right amount, but you have to be aligned with that part. Oh yeah, bed up on uh, speakers. Bed is just a box spring with some foam on top. Uh, I hate to use synthetic foams and off gases and you inhale it all night, but what can a brother, mother, sister do, right? Oh, yes, indeed, our song. All right. Hanging clothes on the pegs. They don't quite always make it up there, but you know the idea. Oh, there's a filter, but I don't like to listen to it run, so I have it on a switch, and I'll turn it on 
when I leave sometimes. That hanging light gets the light right where you need it. There's even a second one here for a little extra blast. Oh yeah! Keep my notes in there. That's part of a door retraction system. This is the greatest thing ever. That spring pulls my door shut again, so I never have to shut it again. So I can just kick it open. Now normally it wouldn't slam like that, but this window is open, so we do not get the air pressure uh, sealing effect. You will see that. Now it will do it. You can even feel it right there. But, uh, oh, oh, oh. Mess with the area. Yeah, no bang that. This used to have a crank open thing like that and that, but now I took those off so you can open it and close it at will. You pull it back like that, and to be able to shut it with one hand, you have to be able to grab this thing and go like that. There you go. Yes, and TD homemade. Uh, nut spreads. I wouldn't say butters because butter is disgusting. That has nothing to do with nuts. Um, oh, we have pistachio and pecan and hazelnut at the moment, plus store potatoes. That piece of tape indicates which side the power thing goes into because it is not, it won't go in both ways. Uh, similarly, this will only go on one way. Why they don't do that themselves, I wouldn't know. Um, Clothing modified. Here's the zip tie taken in the slack so I can buy pants at thrift stores, which I do, and get them when they don't fit me right, uh, and take them in that way. You can take it in a bunch. Um, you can see I cut the flap off the pot, sanded the neck on the back so that it does get all dirty because it doesn't have the varnish that's impenetrable. Leo, piece of rock on the beach. Oh, there's the handle for that thing. There's a uh, modification. You can see just went from there to a hose clamp. There's actually a little insert in there, blah, blah, blah. Goes up to there, held on with that. This is something like that. Now I strap this one on to protect my Ventilated, perforated. I mean, you don't have to wait for them to make sounds for you. You go make sounds yourself. Uh, cut this part. Cut the shoelace shorter. Um, on these, it doesn't even go all the way. You don't even have to take it all the way out. You just take out part of it and cut it there. I want to tie knots around that part. And uh, you can see those godforsaken. This will. Thank you.
Yeah. 